So if you want to answer questions about how nature works, how biology works, for instance, science is the way to get there. Scientists believe in that, and they are very troubled by a suggestion that other kinds of approaches can be taken to derive truth about nature. And some, I think, have seen faith as therefore a threat to the scientific method and therefore to be resisted. But faith in its proper perspective is really asking a different set of questions. And that's why I don't think there needs to be a conflict here. Uh, the kinds of questions that faith uh, can help one address are more in the philosophical realm. Why are we all here? Why is there something instead of nothing? Is there a God? Isn't it clear that those aren't scientific questions and that science doesn't have much to say about them? But you either have to say, well, those are inappropriate questions and we can't discuss them, or you have to say we need something besides science uh, to pursue some of the things that humans are curious about. For me, that makes perfect sense. Some of my scientific colleagues uh, who are of an atheist persuasion are sometimes using science as a club over the head of believers, basically suggesting that anything that can't be reduced to a scientific question isn't important, and it just represents a superstition it should be gotten rid of. Uh, why is it, for instance, that the constants that determine the behavior of matter and energy, like the gravitational constant, for instance, have precisely the value that they have to in order for there to be any complexity at all in the universe? That is fairly breathtaking, and it's lack of probability of ever having happened, and it does make you think that a mind might have been involved uh, in setting the stage. Part of the problem is, I think the, the extremists have occupied the stage. Uh, those voices are the ones we hear. I think most people are actually kind of comfortable with the idea that science is a reliable way to learn about nature, but it's not the whole story. And there's a place also for religion, for faith, for theology, for philosophy. Uh, but that harmony perspective doesn't get as much attention. Nobody's as interested in harmony as they are in conflict, I'm afraid.